All right, hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm just gonna try and skip the intro because a very big day has to happen for a lot of DC fans all over the world. James Gunn has now revealed his new DC slate regarding the movies and some animation. We don't really have anything on the gaming as of yet, but um, I'm pretty much gonna be going over the gaming side because that's the one that has a lot of people worried. Like I said, just kind of skimming over the, the movie side. Uh, the two things I'm very excited for is obviously the Superman legacy movie. I really cannot wait for that. I'm so happy that Superman is finally getting a movie almost after a decade and we are also getting something that i'm very also very excited for is the supergirl movie a uh, woman of tomorrow that's one that i'm very very excited for i really cannot wait to see uh supergirl is a character that i feel like has been butchered by the cw and i feel like they kind of didn't do her justice in that show i feel like they just really treated her more as a superman character instead of like a supergirl since supergirl is a character who tends to not really care about humanity even though she does but she's a lot more brash more brutal and from the way that james gunn explained it saying that she ended up seeing a lot of her family the people that she grew up with and the people that she loves die right in front of her after the explosion of krypton so this supergirl is going to be a lot more from what he said jaded in a probably anti-hero kind of way but mainly concerning on gaming so the one thing i do want to talk about is that this is blowing up everywhere that james gunn is apparently connecting all of everything dcu into one thing that includes gaming so this kind of scared a lot of people because there are people who are pretty much saying which you know they have the right to saying that gaming shouldn't be at all connected connected to the main universe that James Gunn's creating because it kind of limits the developer's vision on how to create the game and you have to literally tie everything into the movies and the cartoons and just everything and it can get very very hard to do and I feel like I said it just, it just kind of limits the creativity of the developer on what they want to do and what they want to envision. There's reason why games like Insomniac, Spider-Man, and even the Arkham series are so beloved amongst fans is because they literally created their own path and making an amazing story around those specific characters and a lot of people just kind of expected to kind of go the same route with you know the wonder woman possibly superman flash all those other characters but i do have an article pulled up right now pretty much talking about james gunn on the video game side as well as peter saffron and i just kind of want to skimmer through a couple parts that i find important i'm not going to be reading the whole article even though i will be linking it down in the description below so you guys can read it for yourselves but there are a couple things i do want to talk about where james gunn actually does talk about a possible superman game he did say what's very different about it for us for dc it's not like we're going to have superman come out and then have the superman game come out it's more like we have superman come out then two years later we have supergirl coming out so what's the story in between there is there a crypto game that we can play that comes in between that's still set in the world with these characters but that is its own thing to sort of give games prominence that they deserve just kind of reading that i'm not saying that this is confirmation that a superman game is never coming he was just kind of fooling around that's james gunn james gunn tends to mess around with a lot of people but it does kind of worry me that we may actually not see a superman game because the way he worded it saying like it's more like we have a superman come out then two years later we have a supergirl coming out so what's the story in between there is there a crypto game that we can play that comes in between and even in my recent video i did talk about how we do deserve a superman game you know on next gen consoles that's something that i've been an advocate for for a very very long time i'd be very disappointed in james gunn if he ends up actually not going forward with a superman game if he doesn't want to go through a superman game with his own universe then please give it to another developer who can actually create their own story around his lore and his family and just the overall aspect of a Superman game like even with the Green Lantern game I'm just like I feel like certain stuff should be left alone and at this point I'm kind of thinking like is Rocksteady actually going to pull the plug on the Arkhamverse and actually do a whole flashpoint from the way that this article is starting to kind of seem and from what Peter Safran said on how gaming is also a huge part in their new universe and they want to connect everything I'm kind of starting to think that the leaks or some of the leaks on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League actually might be true particularly on the flashpoint stuff because for one flash movie is coming out and that is going to be dealing with a whole lot of time travel if suicide squad does come to pass with the leaks then i will literally eat my words and i will make a video saying how wrong i was and how much of an idiot i was <laughs> But just seeing all this stuff, I'm really hoping that there are some games that are disconnected from the main storyline of DC that James Gunn is creating. At the very beginning of the video that he sent out on Twitter, he did say that everything that is not part of his plan is going to be considered as an Elseworld story or like something with Elseworld. So maybe if like, let's say Rocksteady wants to continue their Arkhamverse down the line, if they don't pull the plug on it, then it's definitely going to be considered as an Elseworld story and not considered as part of his new plan. And I I actually do like that like i said there are some stuff that should be kept separate not everything has to be connected even with the animation side there are going to be some stuff that is going to be connected and i do feel like people do 
need to kind of calm down a bit kind of wait and see what happens next uh, mainly concerning also his new movie slate i see a lot of people pretty much saying that how underwhelmed they were about the announcements and i get that but you guys have to understand that this is only the first part of his new universe we are not going to be getting everything you know at the first try you know we're gonna have to wait see what happens next even though this is the first part of his new universe i'm still very excited like i said we're getting a superman film after almost a decade and what i'm really more excited about is the supergirl film she's the character that i've always been so interested in and i just can't wait to see on the big screen i don't know if it's going to be played by sasha calais or sasha I, I literally butchered her name i'm so sorry but i don't know if it's going to be sasha from the one who's playing as supergirl in the flash movie i feel like it would be kind of cool if they did still use her because i feel like she could be a very talented actress but other than that i don't know they may go for another reboot on that supergirl and we're just going to go and see what happens next but another plan that they could do for like an elseworlds superman game is they can probably continue with henry cavill superman but i'm sure henry cavill was done with dc after how they just dicked him around for like almost a decade so i'm pretty sure that he's done with superman for a while until he probably comes back for like maybe a kingdom come superman i don't know but other than that yeah i just kind of want to talk about this little video game stuff that everyone is extremely worried about uh, i kind of do feel like james gunn is taking the approach of the star wars approach pretty much where everything is connected if a game like let's say a green arrow game comes out it's going to be connected with james gunn but it's, it's pretty much going to be taking place in a different time either before a certain movie or after a certain movie it's just to kind of keep up with the character or you know see what they've been up to or you know seeing their upbringing all that kind of stuff but i don't know i'm really excited to see what happens i'm kind of curious on what's going to happen next like i said all i'm saying is i would love a superman game that's the thing that i'm very adamant on i don't care about anything else but a superman game at this point either announce a superman game or a flash game green lantern anything please like i just need more gaming characters we're already getting wonder woman which i'm very over the moon about i cannot wait to play and i hope that we get some more information on it either at the summer games fest or just later on this year it is a very good time to be a dc fan right now we're getting so much announcements and we're this is only the beginning like we're going to be getting so much more stuff later on and james gunn knows that we are just hungry for more content so so that's pretty much going to be it for today guys i just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of this video definitely like share and subscribe we are definitely almost on the road to 100 subscribers so let's definitely keep that train going uh definitely uh comment down below and just let me know what you guys think on the whole gaming slate do you guys think that james gunn could possibly connect everything or do you think that some stuff is going to be semi-connected and other stuff is just going to be its own thing but and uh, i'll catch you guys later peace